When you think of salt, chances are you think of something you use in the kitchen. But a group of students from the University of Queensland believe they've found a way to use salt to close the gap between fossil fuel power and renewable energy. Um, these students are highly innovative. So rather than an academic coming up with this, my students actually came up with it. So, uh, one of them working out in industry found that there was this sort of gap in the market, if you like, um, and put this proposal together and came and saw me before the subject started, proposed it, and um, they're away with it. It's uh, looking very good. The proposed molten salt storage systems will use electricity generated by renewable sources to heat the salt to nearly 500 degrees. This process allows the electrical energy to be converted to thermal energy for storing during low demand or off-peak times. The hot salt is then used to boil water and generate steam for turbines to supply power when demand is high. The systems would be an Australian first, presenting a unique opportunity to savvy investors. Not surprisingly, the Eco Solutions Group are keen to get their product onto the market. It's like we are trying to make this company real in the future. It's now we're starting in uni, and if we get the fundings, so we can bring it forward. And if we have this product, I'm sure that it will be attractive and we can establish a business in the near future. Greens representative Stuart Scarbo says a lack of government funding is currently making the process of raising capital for such ventures difficult. However, he says a number of factors may make the molten salt development more appealing to potential investors. It's a sunk cost, it's a one-off cost and has very low maintenance and ongoing costs. Especially something like solar thermal, it's mirrors and steam turbines. And I believe that's also one of the advantages of the molten salt technology is that they've used as a heat transfer um, method in steel and other industries, so the already the expertise is already out there. Well, only time will tell what the future holds for these budding environmental entrepreneurs. There can be little doubt that their products and concepts will be instrumental in shaping Australia's emerging renewable energy markets.